All right, so I'm going to attempt a uh, hello world in x86 binary instructions. Uh, it'll be in 16-bit. Um, if you want to follow along, uh, go ahead. Uh, but I'd recommend some knowledge of uh, bootloaders and assembly and all the terms associated with that because it's about to get really hairy. <laughs> so, uh, right, I'll show an example of what this is going to do. Um, I have some code prototyped in assembly in, in my assembler and I'm going to run it on Kimu, the virtual machine, and what it does is it boots up and it prints hello world using BIOS interrupts. So that's what we're going to try and accomplish uh, in binary in ones and zeros. Before I do any of this I have to set the boot signature at 1 FE, 5, 510 offset. So um, we're just going to do some zeros. And I think that is correct. I'm going to go ahead and save this as a dot bin, as a bin file, because it is just binary. Our first instruction is. Uh, moving an immediate into the higher half of the accumulator register. So the opcode for moving, there's actually a special opcode for moving an immediate into an 8-bit register. Um, that is B0. I'm going to have to pull up a list of uh, the register uh, binary identifiers. OK, so it looks like the binary for the AH register is 100, and it's telling me to just add it. So it's going to look like that now. I'm going to change that. And now we need uh, the immediate, which is 0E. Um, that's just uh, just the number value. So we're going to type in 0E, right? Oh, I'm going to type in 0E right there. And uh, we have our first instruction encoded. Our next instruction is uh, in moving into the source index register, the uh, this uh, test char identifier that we have. Um, so this is where it's going to get a little. Uh, this is where it starts to get hairy now because we have to uh, know the memory address of test char before we start uh, encoding everything. Um, we're actually at 7C00 in memory. So uh, I think I'm just going to leave that blank until I know exactly where it's going to be. But we can start with the MOV SI opcode. Technically, that is an immediate value. So we are going to use uh, B8 for the opcode, which is moving a 16-bit immediate into the 16-bit register. And the number associated with the source index register is 110. So I'm going to add that to that. Looking pretty good. <laughs> now this is a 16-bit immediate, so I'm going to leave two spaces empty. And we can fill that in later. So we're ignoring labels because uh, labels don't exist in binary. It's just actual memory addresses. So we're going to move on to the compare. The immediate opcode is 80. And immediate opcode bytes have an extension. They have an extension into the mod RM byte. Um, this 8-bit compare is 7. So for the register field, we're going to put three ones. That'll be 7. And now uh, we need to uh, signify the, uh, the memory field, the RM, which is 100. Um, I actually had to look at some of my binary because I don't remember how I did this in my assembler. Uh, <laughs> uh, 100 isn't the register identifier for SI. There's something that I forget, that I'm forgetting. 
that I, that I did. I, I don't know how it's solving that, but I solved it at some point. <laughs> so we're just going to let that be magic for now. Okay, next is a conditional jump. Jump equal to a label. Uh, this isn't absolute memory addressing now. This is uh, relative offsets. So that's uh, we're gonna leave it empty, like I did for the for that second instruction, and we're gonna solve it after I get everything uh, written down. So it looks like the opcode for jump if equal to is seven four. Right, so there's the zero for the compare, and after that we're gonna do seven four. Oops. And I don't know the relative offset of that jump, so I'm gonna leave a zero after that. All right. Next, we're uh, we're gonna move a byte into AL using SI for the uh, register memory addressing register. So that's actually going to be 8A. It's a special opcode for that. And then it looks like uh, we can have a mod RM byte with this. And it looks like we're using the uh, the uh, the binary for AL is 0. Yes, it is 0. We're going register to register, so mod is 0. And then reg is 0. And we're actually going with that memory addressing using SI again. So that's going to be 100. Zero, zero. So uh, we're left with 8A04 for that instruction. And I think that's it for that instruction. All right, next is uh, interrupt 0x10. So we need the interrupt opcode. It looks like there's a few different opcodes for this, but I think we want CD because that's using an immediate 8-bit value. So CD, and then uh, got hex 10. So we're gonna just type in 10 right there, one zero. Uh, that should be it for the interrupt. Next, we want to increment the SI register. All right, so we're going to increment the SI register. Looks like it's opcode 40 plus the register. So we're going to type in our 40. Uh, SI in this case, when it's not being used as a memory address, is uh, 110 as a memory address pointer. So yeah, that's just normal, normal SI. 110. All right, next is the relative jump. Um, this is actually jumping backwards, so it's going to be a uh, it's going to be assigned by because you know, negative jumps backwards and positive jumps forwards in the code. So I'm going to leave that empty again. Okay, the opcode for uh, jumping is I gotta find it. Relative eight. We're not jumping that far, are we? We can use a relative eight, yeah. So that would be E B. And I'm gonna leave that blank because I don't know what the relative offset is yet. Then there's a jump end. I am going to put another E B with another zero. And I think that's the that's the end of our I think that's the end of our instructions. Now we need to have the data for the actual hello world. So we're going to use ASCII characters. Got to pull up an ASCII table. Okay, so uh, right, capital H is 48 in hex. We want a lowercase e, 65 in hex. We need two lowercase l's, at least 6c, 6c. We need the O, which is 6f. We need a space, 2, 0, lowercase w, uh, 7, 7, lowercase o, 6f, lowercase r, 
seven two, lowercase l six c, lowercase d six four. The exclamation point is, where is it at? What's the ASCII code for that? Twenty one. And that should be it. Looks like my boot signature got a little uh, cut there because we are adding a bunch of bytes. We can change that. <clears throat> okay, so we have uh, 31 bytes. Now I have to fill in the offsets of the memory addresses. So give me a sec. Right, so we have to find the memory address of the uh, the start of this hello world string that we just inputted. Uh, we know that we are in memory at 7C00. So I'm just going to take the uh, the offset from 0. I'm going to look at this uh, matrix that's in this hex editor. So that would be 1, 3, plus 7C00 in little endian order because that's how the processor reads uh, immediate values so we're going to switch 7c13 around so that would be 137c yeah looks good All right so these relative jumps uh for s print and end uh, well we're just gonna have to start counting bytes again so this is a uh, relative to the instruction that we're on right now, which is the second part of the jump instruction. So, uh, right, I need to go back to sprint, which looks like the beginning of the compare instruction. So this instruction is one, then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve bytes backwards so it's negative 12 that's signed f4 now we're going to jump end which is just a trick to halt the processor so that it you know it just stays in one place uh right uh so that would be one two oh, because we're jumping back to the end label so that'll be negative two And uh, right, let me set this up with the VM and see what we get. All right, so here's a little batch file to get our binary file that we have working with uh, the virtual machine. Uh, everything looks pretty good, so let's go ahead and run it. And there we go. There is a Hello World in x86 machine instructions.